No, man. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Tic Tac. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> but your answer is being denied because you answer, you gave me two answers, man. Look, you can't be wrong and right at the same damn time. Shit, no. A clock can't even do that. <laughs> Shit, no. It, 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 either it is or it ain't. Yeah, but that's what they hit me with. So when they so when they say coming to the stage number sixty nine, I'm gonna come out on that bit. Yeah, looking like y'all better not play with me because my number is number sixty nine. And then I'm gonna go to my little routine. I'm gonna have to get the business clear first, man. Look, they, they gave me this freak ass number. So don't play with me when I come out on no on, on no shit. <laughs> Them people that gave me this freak ass number. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got a feeling that's how they gonna call it out because they play all day, man. Everybody got jokes these days. And we calling out number 68. Coming next, number 69. I'm sorry, uh uh, uh uh, stop the music, man. Stop the music. Shit, no. We can say 68 plus 1, 70 minus 1, like 66 plus 2. Wing, look. We can just, we can, we can play with the numbers however you want. Look, we don't even much need no numbers, man. I identify something else. I think I want to identify something else as a symbol. Yeah, a dollar sign. Give me a dollar sign, man. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's in here on here, man. 62 plus 2 is 8, bro. <laughs> I'll be straight with that. Shit. <laughs> that's better than 69. <laughs> we can put all that on the little pen. <laughs> shit. 68 plus. Uh, we can put all that shit on there. Anything but 69. <laughs> uh, shit, I ain't on nothing, man. I'm, I, I'm lying, man. I, I wasn't supposed to drink any liquids today, man, but I, I, I done been drinking water, a fucking um, energy drink. Shit. A nigga can't do right all the time. Fuck, I, shit, I got to fuck up somewhere. Shit. I got to fuck with something. Shit, I can't just do everything right. Shit. I don't know, man. That's just, just one of the processes. Um, SV needed to make sure my 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 skin complexion and my and, and my texture and all that shit that are hitting right. It's too much, too much, really. To be honest with you, I feel like fuck. If you getting a spray tan for a hundred or something dollars and putting oil all over you, that should be a, enough. That should be fuck. If that don't get the fucking job done, then I'm I must be lacking in the gym. That shit dehydrating my fucking self shouldn't shouldn't be no fact in this shit. But I go through it, man. I've been eating chicken and rice alone, man. I've been having a, been, I've been, man, look, I've been, I've been confused. Man, I've been, been confused, man. I'm trying to tell you about, about eating chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice. And I want to asking myself, man, like, man, like, what am I doing? Like, what, what's going to happen if I keep eating this damn chicken and rice? Is something going, is something going to happen to me? Like, that's the type of shit that I go to thinking, man. That, so you know that's a lot of fucking chicken and rice. Then it's like when you eat that shit like 15, 20 minutes later, you hungry all over again. Man, look, I'm telling you, man, I got, look. Look at this here, look. Look at this shit. Man, them things empty, man. All them shit's empty. Man, I smashed them bitches. Man, I'm supposed to be eating that shit three hours apart. Man, I'm eating them bitches by the threes, back to back to back. And this bitch full of chicken and rice. Lord. It's 7.33, man. For real. All this fucking chicken and rice, man. I'm gonna turn into a goddamn Chinese chicken. No offense. I, no offense or nothing like that. Oh, man, it's 
when you when you eating for a competition, when, like when you eating for a competition, this shit changed, man. Like then again, it don't because you got it really is up to you. But going to the proper protocol, man. Like you don't eat like on the that shit is not even much fucking healthy. Man, just eating chicken and rice, man. That shit ain't healthy. It's just that you got to have. You know you need other shit than just that. <clears throat> But as far as eating healthy for like, you know, some everyday life shit, man, shit, no. You know, good and goddamn well, you just not no fucking chicken and rice. All them carbs. I'm a fitness trainer, personal trainer, nutritional coach. Yeah. And a full time hustler. And when I say hustle, that don't mean criminal activities. That mean being the mind state that, that something gotta get done at all times. That's what a hustler do. Something gotta get done at all times. There ain't no sitting steady just watching the game. Your feet is always moving. Yeah, locked in. Yeah, yeah. Y'all done played basketball before. I ain't gonna sit here and play them guy. I be a train. I love training people. I do that shit for kicks, for the money. But I get kicks out of that shit. I'm just keeping it real. I don't know this man. I love questions, shouldn't hurt nobody. A question don't hurt nobody. They're not gonna hurt me. You might hurt the people who, who monitor TikTok and they might, you know what I'm saying? About your question or about my reply, it done happened before. It done happened before. Somebody done asked me some questions that led to me not being able to go live for about a week. I'm serious, I'm in Texas, I'm your number one fan. That's a bet, man. That's a bet, but look, let's get this understood. If, if I take you on as a client, man, I'm gonna need your, your consistency, dog. Like, I'm gonna need that, that drive in order for, for what I'm providing to, to be successful. It's a it's a it's a give and take. Like you you require the same from me. If you're gonna be giving your all, then it's it's my duty to give you the know how to to, to to you to be successful as well, so we can become successful together. Plus, I need your transformation to show people I know my shit. Yeah, I need the testimonial. Yeah, I need to get that. Yeah, for real, cause I'm serious about my business, man. For real, and I I I know I'm in shape. I know that, that that says to some that, okay, I know how to exercise. I know how to exercise. You see what I'm saying? I need to show people that my method works. Like, I have plenty of methods for weight loss or muscle building or any type of physique change that you want to achieve by physical training, we can get it accomplished. Yeah, yeah. But you got to have a full understanding of, of, of having an open mind and learning as you go so you can know what you're doing. Even if this is not your, you know, your dreams to be in the profession of this shit, but you need to know what you're doing with your body, some general information that may seem complicated in the beginning, but it'll all make sense. As you enhance your, your physical state, you'll enhance your, your, your mental state as well with knowledge of, of the physical body and, and specifically yours. I got something between my eyes. All right. I'd rather than between the end of your wisdom be on point, you need to put your quotes on shirts. Man, that's a bit. <laughs> shit, hashtag that shit. Yeah, price tag that shit. Yeah. It ain't a hashtag if it don't come with a price tag. Yeah, tell them that. Yeah, tell them that. <laughs> Appreciate that time attempt. I don't take any offense to that. How can I take offense to somebody to tell me I'm attractive? I'm finna go hop on stage with damn near no clothes on. Flexing. I can't take no offense to that. I'm actually looking for that. I like that. And I work out for that. Everybody though. But if I'm a white man. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Mine get people who, who I know, man. I'll pull up on them with a hat. Certain hats. Watch. Check this out. Certain hats. Yeah. Uh, and that's what it is, man. Fuck. The, the, I'm bald and proud. But look. I pull up on them boys like this. They be like, man, what the hell? And I be out there letting them know, man, it's me, man. 
And my person going here with that shit, man, pulling up looking like one of them white boys. <laughs> yeah. Jason Bourne, man. Yeah, yeah. Racially ambiguous. This was somebody that had to research it. Yeah, I'm from Louisiana. I like NASCAR. I like NASCAR. I ain't the only person sitting in the parking lot, y'all. I want y'all to know that I'm... My females love a bald head on guard. Yeah, I know they do. I know they do. You know why I know? Like my girl. Fellas, let me tell y'all something. I don't know what it is, bro. Every time I decide to take a leap with my sense of style, I'd have done it before. I done had ponytails or damn to look like jerry curls and shit. I done been looking like a vampire before. And was fresh as hell. I have. Multiple times. And I'm still not even much gonna point out the, the, the little fashion things that I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't, you know, inspired. At least in my general area. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? But uh, when I do that, I do, you know, whatever woman, I'm just, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Man, look, I showed you my shit and went to the gym. She ended up coming to the gym. And I had been, been in there for about an hour. Pump cover off, skin glistening. And I stayed looking stage ready at all times. I think I had on one of them shirts where I got all my obliques and shit out. Like, it don't even much make sense to even have a shirt on, but I, you got to have that on, at least that on in the gym. You can't have your shirt all the way off, so, yeah, one of them. Badly enough of a shirt to be considered a shirt, but like it's no shirt at all. Yeah, ball as a motherfucker in that bitch. Yeah, caught her attention then. She was mad. Yeah, she was mad. She was mad that I was looking that goddamn good. And there was people that seen me looking that good before she did. Yeah. Nah, that's not a championship composition competition. That's an NPC competition, though. I ain't even got that yet. This is just my second competition. This is my second one. I'm just sticking my toe in. That's all. Get my little feet wet. That's it. Shout out to Homer, man. Go subscribe to Natty God on YouTube for all person keep content. Y'all go check out uh, whatever I said. Yeah, that's the name of it, whatever I said. Y'all check that out as well. Click the link in my bio that'll take you to the training programs and meal plan shit. Click the Instagram link and go follow me on that too. I'm gonna let you know now, if you go on my Instagram and I happen to go live on there, the conversation gonna be different. You're gonna get a whole different vibe from me because I can be a whole lot Relax on my Instagram live. On here, I have to be very medium volume, you know. Can't really get off into what I really would like to get off into. All real. But y'all go ahead and do y'all digging, man. I'm finna, finna dip. Oh, whole purpose I came on here. Weight loss. Weight loss is your goal. Do your cardio first. Go ahead and knock it out. Then we'll do you some resistance training for the time being. But I would recommend, if you're on a weight loss journey, I would recommend some resistance training and some cardio in that order. Straight up. She fucked before me. Everybody story about what they did for me. When the mighty is shot, they tell a different story. The seat is all around me, it got me surrounded. The path I choose to take, there's no way to walk around. Niggas want me.